new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hello, my name is Mira Hoffman, and I'm with Dallas Chair Massage. In this video, we're going to be talking about some great techniques that you can use for neck pain and frozen shoulders. So we'll begin by warming up the back, and you're welcome to check out some of our other videos that have more in-depth techniques for getting the back warmed up. And I'm just going to do a little work into the shoulders first to start opening up and releasing those neck muscles. So we warmed up the neck a little bit. And we're going to come and just start opening up the shoulder. So when you have frozen shoulder, all these muscles get really tight. You start to have a little bit of limited range of motion in the shoulder joint. So I'm going to start with just doing some gentle compression with my loose fist into the back of the shoulder muscles and the rotator cuff muscles. And so we're just doing a little bit of compression with the fists. bit of movement. And as I'm doing this, I wanted to ask y'all, Courtney and I both kind of have blonde hair, but I was thinking about maybe doing something more dramatic as far as dyeing my hair. Do you prefer brunettes over blondes? Or should I do something radical like green? Leave us a comment and let us know. So I did some nice compression into those muscles. You can also do a little bit of gentle kneading. So these muscles are pretty small. They're running from the border of the scapula all the way down into the arm. So really, you can do some gentle kneading. <laughs> Just working along those muscle bellies. Start to do some gentle thumb melting. I'm just applying some nice light pressure or medium pressure. into the teres muscles and the infraspinatus so in that technique I was kind of working from below angling the pressure upwards and now I'm shifting to working from above. And angling the pressure downwards. A 
I'm just really tracing each part of that muscle belly. Make several passes along here. Feeling for any areas that feel tight. And if that area does feel tight, you can melt in just by applying some medium to firm pressure. It's getting them nice and loosened and open. And coming over with a nice open palm. And just broadly working those muscles, making some circular movements. It's thoroughly working all the way into the arm. And I'm going to continue that movement out the arm, just kind of squeezing the muscles. Out into the hands. Gently pick up the arm. So, just encouraging the receiver to stay nice and relaxed here. And we're going to start to work a little bit onto the subscapularis, which is the muscle that runs underneath sub the scapula. And so, to do that, you're just going to kind of bring the arm down into a neutral position, maybe pull it back even a little bit. And if this is your first time working with this muscle, you just want to kind of feel for your bony landmark. So right now I'm just kind of tracing the edge of the scapula. Working into those teres muscles again. And for spinatus. And once you have a good idea of where the scapula is, you're going to gently start to change the angle of your pressure so that you're almost coming out towards the back. Sort of scooping underneath and then pinning backwards. So this can be a sensitive area in some people. Maybe slightly ticklish or it almost feels like you're working a little bit into the armpit. So just check in with your receiver if it feels like they're really ticklish, seeing if you can adjust the pressure or your approach to help relax them. And you also want to make sure since there's a lot of nerve bundles that kind of travel through the armpit juncture that they don't feel any sensations of tingling or sharp pain. How's that feeling, Courtney? Mm -hmm. So you can see now if you look at my hand, my thumb is pretty much completely covered with the muscle. So I'm really um, working into that subscapularis muscle in 
if I were to move my top fingers and just work with my thumb a little bit, I'm just trying to see if I can get, get y'all to see the movement in the shoulder here. It's a little bit subtle. So the first approach is just to do some nice static melting where you just find a point in that muscle belly and hang out. And just like we did in some of the other videos, we'll just make small movements where we release the muscle and then come back in at a slightly different position. And we can make this technique a little bit more dynamic by rotating the arm. So doing a little bit of exterior and then alternately interior rotation. So I'm just holding on to the forearm and slowly rotating it one direction or the other. And we can also do some gentle, small, circular movements as well. Really just trying to work on that muscle. It's pretty deep muscle. It's pretty buried. But oftentimes, I find that people with neck issues, neck pain, or frozen shoulder really benefit from that work. So moving out of that area and giving a nice broad goodbye. Just making some circles up into that area with my palm, working with the heel of my hand. And then we can come moving the arm back up and placing it back on the armrest. So we've worked kind of one half of the equation, which is all these muscles down in here um, below sort of the scapula ridge. And the next part that we want to work on is above the scapula ridge, which is into the levator scapula, supraspinatus, as well as the trapezius and rhomboids. So I'm going to begin with just some gentle kneading, just scooping the muscles up. Pulling them towards me. So as my fingers are pulling the muscles this way, my thumbs are pressing down this way. So you may not be able to see it as much when I have my hands placed like this. Really working. The full length of these muscles. All the way into the neck. After some gentle kneading, we're going to do some slow compression with the pads of our fingers. So I'm taking my thumb and just gently pinning the muscle and applying a little bit of pressure inwards. Just 
walking along the full surface of that muscle. All the way down. To where it meets the top of the shoulder. And the shoulder blade. directions and slowly come back up. And slowly working the full length of these muscles here. base of the skull, suboccipitals, and we'll do another pass into the levator and trap. This time we're going to do a circular motion. So pinning the muscle down applying a little bit of pressure and then making a little circular movement. So right here I'm noticing a little bit of fascial adhesions. I kind of feel like crunchy things underneath my thumb. I'm just spending a little bit of extra time here working those out. So I'm always a big proponent of working slower with a lot of awareness and attention. I think that it helps the body unwind and gives the receiver a more full, relaxing experience. But you can also work more quickly if you prefer that or if they prefer that. I'm kind of returning to that motion we started with, with pinning with our thumbs and pulling towards ourselves with the fingers. Just really trying to encourage this area of the body to relax. So I'm just working this area nice and thoroughly as we've loosened up the more superficial layers. I'm able to find the tight spots in the deeper layers. So I don't know if you ever played with cornstarch as a kid. How if you mix cornstarch with water kind of makes this almost putty-like substance. And if you try and press very quickly with a lot of force, it sort of bounces you out. But if you apply a softer, softer pressure and just take your time, then it'll slowly start to give and make room and our muscles are the same way so as you apply pressure just hang out for a little bit 
You can encourage the client or receiver to take some deep breaths. And go ahead and join them for those deep breaths. And then notice what changes you're able to accomplish just doing that. And if your fingers feel like they want to kind of slide off that muscle, just do so gently with control. You can remove a little bit of the pressure, lessen it a little bit. And then come back again at a new place along the muscle belly. And just kind of walking up again. Did a little bit of deeper work in a couple of those spots there. And I just want to kind of move the blood, move the energy in those areas. And I continue to encourage that muscle to Unwind a little bit further in that area to relax. So, just doing a little bit of compression downwards with my palm again. Really seeing if we can start to get some length here. You can see the skin and muscles picking up a little bit of slack as I press downwards. This feels really nice, just pushing into the muscle. And if you want, you can use your upper hand to melt into some of the suboccipitals and the attachment sites for these other muscle bellies. And I'm going to come back and do the tops of the shoulders again. And if you want to leave the client nice and balanced, you go ahead and move over to the other side. And repeating all those steps we just went through for working the back of the shoulder blade and into subscap. Kind of gliding out the shoulders here. Sweeping upwards into the neck. And then I'd like to finish with a little bit of closing movement just to say goodbye. And this also kind of helps give the client a sense of completion and helps sort of stimulate them. So we did some nice relaxing work. Now we're just gonna help kind of break up that energy and continue it. By doing a little bit of tapotement. So starting off nice and slow, just kind of getting them used to this type of movement in your hands. Using a medium to light pressure but as you continue, you can intensify. I have a puppy head, sorry. <laughs> intensify the rate and the pressure. 
can open the hands up and use just the edges of your pinky finger and slowly dropping off and just brushing out along the back. I like to end with just a static, gentle hold before taking my hands off. So I hope you got some wonderful techniques out of this video. Again, my name is Mira Hoffman and I'm with Dallas Chair Massage. Make sure to favorite the video so you can come back to us and subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel. We have thousands of videos on health and wellness here to help you. Thank you again.